Okay, this will be the first video in the series and it's all about cutting and stenciling. So let's get started. So before I actually get into the video, I'll just briefly talk about a few of the tools I'm gonna to use. The knife I tend to use is just a Stanley knife, a box cutter. These are cheap enough and they have changeable blades, which helps me out a lot. It means I don't have to strop the knife constantly, I can just swap the blade fairly quickly. And something else that's handy to have is a straight edge. So this is just a standard steel ruler, it has a cork back so it stops it marking the leather. And the only leather specific tool that I actually use at this stage is a scratch awl. It's just a round sharp awl, I'll use it to mark round all my stencils so it gives me cutting lines um, and probably the most important part actually is one of these cutting mats that just protects your desk. The first part of any project is to select the piece of leather you're going to use. So there's a few things to consider. First of all what kind of leather you're going to use. So there's vegetable tanned leather and chrome tanned leather. I tend to use vegetable tanned leather for 90% of the stuff I do. I do use chrome tanned leather sometimes, but it tends to be if someone's specifically requested it. So veg tanned leather, the tanning process is just much more natural. It uses vegetable matter and bark and things like that to, to actually tan the leather. Whereas chrome tanned leather, which makes up about 90% of the leather that's out there, uses a lot of chemicals and oils and things like that which are bad for the environment. So yeah, I prefer to use vegetable tanned leather. It's a much more natural product, but I think it's just a better material to work with, personally. Once I've selected the type of leather that I'm going to use, I'll then think about what thickness I'm going to use. So on the wallets and uh, things like that, the sort of smaller items, I tend to use 2mm leather, which is around 5 ounces. And for projects like uh, knife sheaths and the camping mugs and things like that, I use much thicker leather. It's 3 to 3.5mm, three which is around 8 or 9 ounce leather. Then once I have the actual piece of leather that I'm going to use, I'll look out my stencils. I much prefer just using cardboard stencils. I can just store them in a folder and just flip through to, to the right page. So yeah, I'll, I'll look out the stencil and then I'll, I'll literally just draw around them with my scratch all so that I have a, a clear mark. Then I'll get to just cutting the pieces out. For any, any straight edges, I tend to use the ruler and any curves and the corners and things like that, I tend to just freehand them. Once I've cut each piece out, that's it for the cutting and stenciling stage. Everything now is ready to dye. So that'll be next week's video. I'll show you how I dye things and some of the things that you might need for that. If you haven't watched the intro video, maybe head over and do that now. That'll show you what's coming up in the next few videos. But yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Look at this coaster I made. It's not very good.